Welcome to ECU Masters Training Part 5. In this video, we're going to learn how to work with our data logging feature in our ECU Masters Black software. The data logging is going to be an essential part of your tuning process, whether you're going to be evaluating how the vehicle's running or trying to figure out what changes to make in your calibration file. We're going to have to work with data logging, so this is going to be something you definitely want to learn how to do properly. So without further wait, let's jump into the video so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna be taking a look at working with our data logging in our ECU Masters Black specific software. So data logging is gonna allow us to work with our EMU Black in the running condition for our engine. It's gonna allow us to capture data. It's gonna allow us to look at the data, plot it graphically. It's gonna allow us to play back any of the data to see maybe what was status was at during a dyno pool or during racing conditions. And then we're able to save the data log to play it back in an offline mode if we're trying to review, let's say, a data log from a previous tuning session to a current tuning session. We're able to accomplish that and it's gonna be a very important part of your tuning process. Now, before we jump into the tutorial here and starting to take a look at the data logging, we need to make sure you're going to be using the same page layout that I have here so you can follow along. Everything's going to be making sense. So we're going to make sure you go to your desktops, go into your open desktop template, and then move down here and select your main tuning template. It's going to be this option here that we provided already in the training course. Make sure you have that open here. And let's move into our last page here, which is going to be our logging page. This is where we have our dedicated data log page. Now, we do have our graph log here that we can see that's in the middle of the page found in most all the other pages here. So we can see right here is a graph log and we're looking at our fuel corrections. There's gonna be a graph log right here. I have it in all of the windows because we're gonna be able to look at our data. If we're playing back and looking through our data log, we're able to do that in each window as well as taking a look at a bigger picture here within our main window. So um, it's going to provide us a little bit more flexibility in reviewing our data in specific conditions or just an overall overview of what is going on when we're doing our tuning. So that's why I have all of those graph logs in the different page windows. Now, we have a couple things to talk about here before we jump in and start to work with and start to talk about the features we have within the actual graph log parameters here. Uh, first and foremost, the engine is running right now. So my EMU Black is connected to the engine, connected to the vehicle. We can see down here at the bottom, we have a connected status that's in green. It's synchronized, meaning it's registered the cam and crank patterns of the engine, and we can see the state is showing running. And in fact, if we go here and any of our live data windows, we can see the engine RPM. We can show it's idling here about 1,000 RPM. We can see other important data, such as our coolant temperature, 83 degrees Celsius. Intake air temp is 34 degrees Celsius. We can see the engine state's running. Battery voltage here is 11 volts. So we're finding that we have um, all of that data streaming live right now because the engine is running and the EMU black is registering everything. So at this point, we're just streaming the data. We're not actually data logging it. We're not capturing the data. We're not actually going to be able to play it back. This is just going to be essentially the bare bones to get kind of get started. So in order to work with the data logging, we're going to jump in here to our graph log window. We can see that we have this big red button here in the center, and it looks like a pause start log. We can click it. It's going to start to generate data within our window. We can see once we click it, it started to stream our data right now. It is capturing data. So at this point, we are doing a data log, and it's capturing all of our information. So as the engine runs here, it's capturing every single channel within our ECU masters, and there are several hundred channels to actually data log and capture. So it's capturing all of those right now, which is a very, very key part in doing your data logging because you're able to play back a data log and capture all the information and see any channel at any given time. Other engine management systems force you to choose between certain log parameters. Um, and if you don't choose those, you're gonna be omitting them when you're reviewing your data log. If you're trying to do fuel tuning and you're having some kind of a spark issue, um, you're not gonna be logging spark if you're not having that in your logger. That's not gonna be the case with the ECU Master software. It's logging everything. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you wanna see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you wanna go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here, and you don't wanna miss any of the videos we're gonna be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.